Hey guys, we have an iPhone 8 here with no backlight. It's been tested by our front end technicians. The screen's fine. Uh, let's switch to the overhead view here. So here's the phone. See when we prompt to boot. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. You can kind of see there. See the Apple logo, no backlight. So this is a classic no backlight problem. We're going to start by um, opening the phone, disconnecting the screen, disconnecting all the flex cables here. And pulling the board out of the housing. Grabbing our multimeter, switching to the microscope view. Okay. We're going to focus on the LCD FPC here. Check in diode mode. Let's see if we can find any abnormal readings. Switch to ZXW. So right here we have the J5700 LCD FPC. We're going to start in the bottom left here, the backlight connections, and check in diode mode. Let's see what readings we get. All right. So we're going to go black probe, sorry, red probe on ground. And start down here. So we have a normal reading on there. Open line, normal. So we've already identified our problem here. We have an open line reading on pin 37, which is PP display BL34 anode connection. So that line runs through to this test point. Let's check that test point. You can see the um, test point is corroded. I'm going to check it out here. Yeah, it looks like it's not a happy test point. Okay, let's check the schematics again. So it goes in the test point and we have a filter on the or sorry, a resistor on the opposite side of the board here. Let's take a look at the back side of the board. So we can see signs of corrosion here. Let's take off the sticker. Oh yeah, so you can immediately see a lot of corrosion on this side. Oh yeah. I'm gonna grab a brush and start by cleaning this off. All right, so our resistor is right there. I'm also going to check this filter. Make sure. Filter seems fine. Let's check the resistor. All right, it's dislodged. Alright. <coughs> so let's pull this resistor from our board. Looks like we're going to have to run a jumper. Oh, maybe not. Okay. 
All right, let's turn on the fume extractor and some flux. We're just gonna tin both these pads. Switch over to a donor board here and grab that resistor. All right, so we're just soldering our new resistor onto our customer board here. Test our point again. We have a normal diode mode reading. Switch to the overhead view. Grab customer board here. And prompt it to boot. We can see here that backlight has been restored. Perfect. So, backlight has been restored on this device. Um, as a recap, this phone came in, actually came in for a screen repair, but our technicians noticed there was water damage. So after they installed the new screen, there was no backlight. They told the customer that we needed to look at the board, uh, which they proved. Um, it ended up being a faulty resistor from water damage and corrosion, R5733. Uh, we found it by using diode mode on the LCD connector and finding an open line reading on pin 37. Um, so we'll uh, finish testing on this phone, get it assembled, and get it back to the customer. Thanks for watching.